would like to welcome you to the grand opening of our Manhattan branch. My name is Stephen Vogel. I am the CEO of Grameen America. Our team could not be more excited to have you here to celebrate our success in expanding our program to Upper Manhattan. We are delighted to have so many of our supporters who want to help alleviate poverty in New York City. We owe a special thanks to the Colin Powell Center and City College of New York for hosting this event. Grameen America opened our first branch in 2008 in Jackson Heights. Later on in the program, you will hear about our accomplishments. At this time, I'd like to introduce the people who are sitting on the stage. Leslie Kane, Executive Vice President. Arsenia Enriquez, Center Manager, Upper Manhattan. Megan Kern, Center Manager, Upper Manhattan. Emily Medina, Center Manager, Upper Manhattan. Sorry, I have to correct the name. We are the Manhattan branch, not the Upper Manhattan branch. Alethea Mendez, who is our first center manager, working for Grameen America in 2008, and she works out of our uh, Queens branch. Shah Alam, the branch manager for Queens. Abdul Salam, the branch manager for Brooklyn, and Shah Nawaz, the general manager and the senior vice president for Mean America. Let's have a round of applause for you. Oh. And on my right is a very important person. This is Monica Yunus, Pro Professor Yunus's daughter, who is an opera star at the Metropolitan Opera House, and I think everyone should make sure that they go to hear her. I would also like to recognize a special group in attendance, our borrowers and their families. Let's have a round of applause for them. children have a special performance for us. Let's welcome them this morning.
Wow, what a great performance. Thank you. Uh, Professor Yunus, we'd like to invite you to come up now. Let's have a round of applause for Professor Yunus. Can I ask the children to come up one more time, please? <laughs> Thank you again. <clears throat> Shana Waz has worked for over 27 years with Professor Yunus to build the Grameen Bank. 
He came to New York City in 2007. Many said the Grameen model would not work in the United States. Well, two years later, Shah has built a very successful program. Please join me in welcoming Shah Nawaz. Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to share our experience with you to establish another Gravin American branch, Manhattan branch. In 2008, we opened the first branch in Jackson Heights, Queens. After successfully established the five members group landing model among our target population, the weekly repayment system, because everyone said it was impossible since people in the USA are very busy. So weekly installment is very impossible here. Maintains a near about 100% repayment rate and training skilled staff to run the group lending model. We decided to expand our program in Brooklyn, Omaha, Nebraska, and Manhattan in the middle of 2009. My colleague, Emily Medina, she's here, he started groundwork in Manhattan in the month of July 2009. She worked in Queens for a little over one year and organized about 200 borrowers there. She was born in Manhattan and brought up in Manhattan. When she started expanding our program in Manhattan, we had no office there. She held open house events in her apartment so that the community could learn about Grameen, America. She did this while working five days in Queens and used for weekend to contact with other target people in Manhattan. Since we had no office, Emily and I reviewed our observation, discussions, and other official work in different coffee shops throughout the Manhattan. For many, McDonald's, Dunkin' Donuts was, were designed meeting and conference room. With this experience, opening this branch, I realized that in the Manhattan, coffee shops are very available. Like other new branches in new area, we face the trust problems among our target peoples in, in the beginning stage of our operation. People thought we are trying to scam them or get them involved in of a pyramid scheme. That means we do not have any organization and will not give loans to them at all. We will only collect their savings and will disappear when we will mobilize a good amount of savings. When you organize group with the target people in Washington Heights in Manhattan, we had to disburse loan among them. Therefore, we need an office space. We thought, as the NYC Business Solution in Queens awarded Grab in America Queens branch in 2008, so we can get help from that organization in Manhattan. Emily went to NYC Business Solution office in Manhattan and meet with Mr. Sham Mustafa, one of the director of that office. We are very lucky that Mr. Sham Mustafa knows Grameen Bank. He visited Grameen Bank, Bangladesh. He met with Professor Inus and Nujan Begum, the deputy managing director of Grameen Bank. He arranged a conference room in his office to run our loan disbursement program. We continued our loan disbursement schedule in there about four months. Then our Grameen America fundraising office shifted in 42nd Street with a bigger space and arranged a room for loan disbursement of this Manhattan branch. Finally, we rented an office space in Manhattan branch in January 2010. The services we offer are the loan savings and the credit score with Experian. You see there are some 
the, the Gravid American Services, Loan, Savings, and Credit Score. These are the three services we have been providing to our borrowers. And the total numbers of our, the figures, this loan, the maximum loan size is $1,500, and the rate of interest is the 15% on declining. Declining means we are charging interest on the basis of the loan decreasing every week because of the weekly repayment system. For $100 loans, a borrower has to pay the 107.5 cents. The total numbers of Manhattan now, it is 350, and total number of borrowers about 300. We have disbursed $400,000, and loan outstanding is $180,000. The recovery rate is 100%. The total member savings among our borrowers, because we are providing the savings services along with this credit program, the total amount they deposited is the $14,600. But we have only three staff there. We are trying to expand this program. And this branch uh, has been working all over the Manhattan area, including the Bronx area. Thank you. Thank you, Shah, for this uh, wonderful presentation. Now we'd like to invite a few of the borrowers up for their speech. Emily. Hi, I'd like to introduce Dania Hernandez. Um, So Dania was one of our first borrowers in Manhattan when we were expanding. And the story that Shah told about us not having an office space, uh, she's one of the first borrowers, the incredulous borrowers that we had. <laughs> um, so I'm going to let her tell her story. Can I talk in Spanish and you say in English, please? Uh, sure. Very comfortable. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming today. Uh, my name is Dania Hernandez. And can I try in Spanish? I'm sorry, my English is not real good. Mi nombre es Dani Hernández y soy parte de Grammy American ya. En, he tomado préstamos ya dos veces. Um, so this is Dania. She's received two loans. She's a second time borrower. She's received two loans. Yo usé mi dinero para vender cosas en la calle y para sostener mi familia. Primero, yo tomaba dinero prestado a alguien que por 100 dólares me cobraba 50 dólares a la semana. So she used her loan to buy things to sell on the street. Um, she used to sell merchandise before and she would borrow money from a money lender and for every hundred dollars she would have to pay 50 dollars every week. Grammy American, sin conocerme, sin saber quién yo era, sin tener ninguna información de mí, ella me ofreció esto. Y yo no quería creer, porque cuando los negocios suenan muy buenos, son mentira. So, um, Dania said that uh, when we approached her and explained to her the program, she didn't believe it, because she didn't think that an organization that didn't know her didn't require a lot of uh, background checks or collateral to lend her money, but actually lend her money. Las personas como yo, para ir a un banco y solicitar un préstamo, tenemos que llenar por lo menos 100 hojas de información. Y casi nunca los aprueban porque no nos conocen y no tenemos un soporte para hacer un préstamo en cualquier banco. Grammy America me hizo el préstamo sin saber nada sobre mí. Y hoy en día somos un grupo ya de 15, 15 personas en mi casa, un centro, y todas estamos sobreviviendo sin tener que pagar gran interés y 
Grammy America nos está apoyando. Sí. Um, so Dania says that um, she feels like if she goes to the bank, she has to fill out a lot of paperwork and she might not even be approved for a loan. And um, she's very happy to be in our program. And her, along with four other of her, four, of her group members, they meet once a week at her house and uh, she feels great being in this program. En algo más también que quiero decir que antes eh, mi negocio era pequeño, ahora ha ido creciendo poquito a poquito porque cada vez que terminamos un préstamo podemos coger otro un poquito más alto sin tener que llenar más papeles, solamente basado en confianza. Trabajamos en equipo, en grupos y gracias por apoyar a las mujeres. Um, so, she, so Dania says that now her business has been able to expand and uh, she feels happy that there's support out there for women. Thank you. I'd now like to welcome Guillermina La Madrid. Bueno, muy buenos días a todos. Yo quiero agradecer a Gran América que él nos ha apoyado mucho con sus préstamos. Yo soy vendedora de algodones de azúcar y, y churros. Guillermina says that she wants to thank Grammy America for the support and the prestamo that, or the loan that she received, excuse me. Um, um, she sells churros and cotton candy on the street. Quiero dar gracias por medio de ese préstamo que yo ha ingresado mi, mi venta con ayuda del préstamo que ellos nos han otorgado. She says thank you because with this loan she's been able to invest more in her business and to make it grow. When did you cuando recibió su préstamo? Yo es el primer préstamo que me han otorgado, pero yo con ese préstamo he logrado muchas cosas. Gracias. She said with this loan she has achieved a lot and hopes to continue. Thank you. Hearing about how Grameen America helps our borrowers and how it helps them improve their lives is what keeps us motivated and makes us come to work every day. Let's hear a round of applause for our borrowers. And now we'd like to show you a brief uh, video about Grameen America. I was teaching economics in one of the universities of Bangladesh. And I'm teaching in my classrooms about the five-year plans where the millions of dollars or billions of dollars are to be invested to change the lives of the people here next door. People need it less than a dollar apiece, and there's nobody who can help them. So I went to the local bank to arrange loans for them. And the bank manager said they cannot lend money to the poor people because they are not credit worthy. I said, I'll become a guarantor and take the money to the people and see whether this is true. The work started giving loans to 42 people, a total amount of $27. Today it grew into a big bank, 
Right now, we give loans to seven and a half million borrowers in Bangladesh. No collateral, no guarantee, no legal papers. 97% of them are women. And one after another loan, they change their life. They move out of poverty consistently. We can create a world absolutely free from poverty. After the Nobel Peace Prize, suddenly everybody is willing to listen. Suddenly all the doors are open. The doors that you have been banging for many, many years. Thank you so much. This opportunity may not last forever. that you are going to make. It's almost like uh, landing in the moon. Your small step will be a giant step for all of America. Because if your program, you make it successful, then this will open the door for many, many millions of people in this country who do not have this service from the other kind of banks, where you will be opening this door for the rest of America. All right. Savings account and $66 for a loan repayment. I had two small mixes and I never could be able to, uh, was able to purchase it. Big mix, so I could do my business on the largest scale.
and how women have been suffering because of all their hard work never brought them any return because they didn't have the money to invest and carry on their thing at their own times. Now having this money from Grameen program, they can control their own life. They can change their own life with their own initiatives. As much as I would like to go on talking and telling you all about Professor Yunus and how he's helped the lives of over 100 million people and how President Obama gave him the Presidential Medal of Freedom last summer, I think you're all here to hear him speak. It is my pleasure and great honor to introduce Professor Muhammad Yunus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Buenos dias. <laughs> we have to learn Spanish now. <laughs> well, I'm so happy to be in this, on this occasion uh, launching of Manhattan Branch. When we uh, started in 2008, uh, we had no idea where it would lead to. Today we can see on the screen what's happened and uh, gradually you've moved from one location to the next location, now to a third location. So that's a fantastic progress. Uh, let me give a big applause for the whole team who have done this, all the impossibles. Can you please stand up? Can you just stand up? Yeah, please, please, let it be, let it be. Yeah. Thank you. Fantastic job. Thank you, thank you. Professor Latifi and Stephen and the, all the staff here, you already been introduced. They have done wonderful work and we are very grateful to them to make this happen in collaboration with the, all the members, all the uh, borrowers of the program. And thank you very much on behalf of everybody. Thank you. And one more applause I have to give because I, I didn't realize that uh, I could show this big uh, appreciation. When offered all the children, lovely children who performed here, let's give them a big applause for all of you. Hello. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. I'm delighted that uh, <clears throat> we could come to this stage when we started and that start was uh, in January 2008. That year kind of has a very special significance in the world, 2008. But when we started in January 2008, this was not kind of a pre-designed thing that will be coming here in 2008 and start this program. But it happened such a uh, way, it's a wonderful coincidence, giving some kind of uh, premonition that uh, something uh, the whole world has to pay attention to what we do in banking world. Because a few months later, the whole edifice of banking started melting right in this city. And while this was melting away, all the big structures of banking, this tiny little thing in uh, Queens was flourishing. That has a big message because when you st started the whole thing in one village in Bangladesh, the bankers told us repeatedly that this is a crazy thing. It's not possible to lend money to the poor people because they are not creditworthy. 
I think 2008 has brought us back to that question again. The question is, who is creditworthy? Somehow, your little program in Jackson Heights in Queens gave a very resounding answer, who is creditworthy? Now we have to pay attention to what has been achieved here because we cannot just go back to the same banking that we always did without paying any attention to the massive number of people who are left out of the system. So this crisis has told us that something is wrong in the system. In order to correct that system, that system must be an inclusive system, not an exclusive one exclusive for the privileged people. That cannot continue. So the more power you gain, more success you gain, moving from Queens to Brooklyn, from, from Brooklyn to Manhattan, you are pointing your fingers where the solution is. Solution is we have to travel together. You can't just left us behind. You cannot call yourself banking and merrily dance away without including everybody in the society. And then you don't have to be scared about it because we have shown that it can be done. It can be done in a better way than you have done because your structures were collapsing while we could continue without any fear. Just because banks were collapsing, I don't think there was a panic in Grameen America. Oh my God, things are not doing right. No, there was no panic at all. They were totally confident. But be just because we don't take collateral doesn't make us vulnerable. Just because you take collateral doesn't make you invincible. So this is a lesson we have to learn, we have to teach. And we have to redesign the system so that we don't end up with the same crisis or worse crisis again. So that's what this Manhattan branch tells us loudly, that we cannot go on the way we have done in the past. Journalists keep asking me, what is your objective in running a Grameen program in New York City. And one answer I gave during the inauguration, I said that New York City is the world capital of banking. The whole world does banking with New York City. And in these skyscrapers that New York built, they control the world finance. What I pointed out they do the banking for the whole world, but they don't do the banking with their neighbors. And we are here to show that there's nothing wrong in doing banking with neighbors. So we hope we would create some confidence in them that they will change the mind. If they change the mind, the whole world will change. That's what the significance. So we have to keep pushing. We have to keep showing that what we are doing is something rock solid. It will not shake, it will not collapse, it will not melt away. It will be part of a bigger banking system, anytime, with pride, no problem. And another explanation I gave to journalists who asked me, what is your objective? I said one objective is, as we increase the number of our borrowers in the program that we have in New York City, to that extent, 
there will be less people who will be forced to go to the payday loans. To that extent, there will be less people who are not qualified to open a bank account in a bank because all our borrowers have a bank account in the bank, which is a privilege millions of people do not have in this country. Then I said, this is what we modestly hope, but our bigger dream is something else. If we really work in New York City the way we would like to, then New York City will be the first city in the whole of the United States where there will not be any payday loans anymore, anywhere in New York City. There will not be any pawn shops in New York City. There will not be anyone without a bank account in New York City. then the whole country will realize it is possible. Because it's not only New York City. You go to any city, any town, anywhere in this country, you see big signs, pawn shops, big ads, payday loans, and a big thriving business, check cashing companies. And that shows a sickness in the banking system. It's not something banking system can take pride with. So this is what we want to address by what we do. And in other places, particularly in Bangladesh, when we do microcredit the way you have done here, we have also other layers of our program one layer is very important for us in Bangladesh, making sure all the children go to school. And then when these children are coming up in this education ladder, all of them, because we help them all go to school, and we succeeded that. But when they first started coming to higher education, there was a problem because parents cannot support them in the higher education anymore because it's very expensive. So the Grameen Bank introduced education loan so that they can continue in higher education. Nobody can stop them there. And today, thousands and thousands of young people from Grameen families are medical schools, engineering schools, universities, because Grameen Bank provides all the financing for them. So that's the next layer coming up here. These children that they perform, they will be all supported with education loans so that they can go into colleges, they can go into the universities, so that they do not have to stop their education just because of the financial difficulties. So this is another layer which come in. We have one more layer, we have insurance program varieties of insurance program for our borrowers so that they don't have to worry about their life. And we also introduced health insurance within our insurance program. So in our kind of portfolio, there are lots of different programs which you can gradually bring in. As the programs grow, as the program becomes strong, so that we don't have to miss out anything in life. Our children do not have to miss out anything in life. They are as creative, as energetic, any child, anywhere. They shouldn't be left out just because their parents started in a position that they could not give full support to them. So the bank, the program Grameen America will come and support that. So today is a very important day that we are making the third step within the city. And this step 
will be a very significant step because when we take the first step, it's always a baby step. It's not quite as strong. Second step is a more stable step. Now we are taking the third step, which will be the mature step. We will do much better and we learn much better from this, which will be transmitted to all the programs we do everywhere. We are doing it in Omaha, Nebraska. They will be benefiting from this experience. And soon we'll be starting in Washington, D.C. They are waiting for this, watching you to see how you are doing so that they can say, ah, we are doing better than them. Because they will learn from you. So they are waiting. And San Francisco is waiting this year. They are in line. So we'll do that. So this becomes the hub from which the whole thing emanates, whole thing expands. So you can take pride, New York City, that we made this beginning, beginning of something which touches many people's lives. And it's because the borrowers here have created this new culture. Because after all, this whole Grameen thing is creating a new culture because people kind of give up by saying, oh, it won't happen, it won't be, cannot be done. You have done it. What was impossible, you made it possible. It takes repeated demonstration to convince people, yes, this is true. It's not just passing phase, something happened, soon it will disintegrate. It will disappear. It will not disappear. It will become stronger and stronger. And let's give a big hand to our borrowers who have demonstrated that it's possible. Can I say a few words to borrowers since I don't speak Spanish? Maybe somebody can help. You can help, okay. So I was just telling you that you are creating a new world for the whole of the United States. Because what was impossible, you made it possible. And because you made it possible, it will become available to every one of the persons like you all over the country. El Professor Yunus dice que ustedes, las miembros de ese programa, están creando algo muy nuevo y como un mundo nuevo que ustedes están haciendo lo que antes no era posible, ahora hemos visto que sí es posible y ahora gracias a ustedes, muchas más personas como ustedes van a tener las mismas oportunidades para so seguir adelante. And <clears throat> your enterprise is small, your loan size is small, but the dream is big. We'll make the dream come true. Dice que los negocios son pequeños y los préstamos también pequeños, pero los sueños son grandes. Y son esos sueños que vamos a realizar juntos. From everybody's eyes, you are just an ordinary person. But in reality, history will remember you that you are leaders. You led the whole country and everybody who will follow you will remember you because for you, their life has changed. Que tal vez en los ojos de los demás personas ustedes son gente así normal, pero la realidad es que ustedes son líderes, son gente muy especial porque fueron los primeros y ahora son muchos más que vienen después de ustedes y siempre serán recordados en la historia de este país como las primeras personas que empezaron con ese programa. On their behalf, 
I salute you today and thank you very much. De la parte de, de nosotros y de todas las personas de este país, le, les digo muchísimas gracias. Thank you. Let me introduce my daughter who is sitting next to me, Monica Yunus. I'm very happy that I could see her today in this office. Thank you. Thank you, for Pro Professor Yunus. Every time I hear you speak, I am inspired again and again. Without the help of the local community, we cannot expand our business. And now I'd like to call up Hope Knight, the Chief Operating Officer of the Upper Manhattan Empowerment Zone, an organization that is devoted to revitalize Upper Manhattan. Hope. Thank you. The Upper Manhattan Empowerment Zone is pleased to announce our latest community partnership a newly established relationship with Grameen America. As many of you already know, UMES has had a long presence in Upper Manhattan, and our mission is to provide financial and technical support to indigenous and newly established businesses, cultural institutions, workforce development programs, and entrepreneurs here in Upper Manhattan. Our overall goal is twofold. First, to meet the most immediate and basic needs of those we serve. And secondly, and more importantly, to maintain and deepen these relationships over the long term. We remain committed to ensuring the sustainability of our clients and partners, in addition to fostering a more dynamic business climate in Upper Manhattan and greater access and opportunity for local residents. Over the years, we've been able to make a meaningful impact in the areas of arts and culture, the expansion of existing businesses, the creation of new businesses, and jobs for local residents. We have been fortunate to have the requisite financial resources and dedicated staff to carry out our mission thus far. However, of equal importance have been our longstanding and deep relationships with our other community-based organizations throughout Upper Manhattan. It is within this context that we enter into our partnership with Grameen America, which has demonstrated not only a significant commitment but also great success in addressing many of the basic needs of everyday people and communities not dissimilar to those that exist here in Upper Manhattan. More specifically, our partnership with Grameen America is complementary to UMES's existing lending activity in the marketplace and outreach to emergent small businesses and entrepreneurs. In today's environment, we all know the challenges that businesses face and that the availability of capital is quite limited. At UMES, we are committed to addressing these issues, and what makes our relationship with Grameen America even more significant is that it will allow us to provide capital to support this abundant spirit of entrepreneurship in Upper Manhattan and to assist those businesses that neither capture the headlines of business news nor are represented by the various storefronts common in our neighborhoods. We are providing $625,000 represented by a combination of a grant and a loan that will result in direct support for over 300 home-based and other businesses that are operated by those who face very challenging financial circumstances and have virtually no access to fairly priced loan capital and other financial resources. We are also excited about Grameen's commitment to providing financial literacy and other training sessions which will help these businesses not only establish credit, but also develop and maintain the necessary sound financial practices required to build strong business operations. In closing, I would like to congratulate Professor Yunus and the Grameen staff for its great work and the difference that it continues to make in the lives of people on a day-to-day -day basis. Welcome to Upper Manhattan, and we at UMES look forward to maintaining a very deep and strong relationship with you. And in closing, I'd like to ask the uh, staff of UMES to stand. These are the folks who worked on this transaction. Thank you. Okay. 
<laughs> Can I take it home? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, watch out, watch out. Mamun, come on, catch up. Thank you. Thank you so much to the Upper Manhattan Empowerment Zone. Now the children are up and we are going to do the grand opening of the, up, of the Manhattan branch and we are going to do the ribbon cutting. Thank you all for attending this very special event. We are grateful to Grameen America's hardworking staff and volunteers who have worked on this event for many, many hours. And of course, a special thanks to our borrowers and their families. Please remember to stay after the, the program to visit our borrowers in the back of the auditorium. In addition, as many of you know, Professor Yunus has just written a new book on social business called Building Social Business. We have some copies in the back that are available, or you can go to Barnes & Noble and pick them up later on today. Thank you for attending. Las miembros que trajeron productos, por favor, regresen a sus mesas para que la gente pueda pasar por ahí y ver sus negocios. Gracias. <laughs>